Martina Pan and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a shoe haul and I am going to show you mga sandals with block heels that I got from various shops on Shopee, Lazada, and Instagram. Um, I have a total of 9 pairs to show you guys today, pero please don't judge me because these are my 11-11 purchases that I got on sale. Kasi ang dami talaga, like buy one take one and even buy one take two, would you believe? So I really took advantage of the sale because these are really the types of shoes that define me and my style so much. Kasi ako, I personally believe in the comfort of sneakers, pero hindi talaga ako sneakerhead even if I'm surrounded with people who are sneakerheads. Kasi I remember back in college talaga, kahit na 6 floors yung kailangan ko akyatin, naka-block heels ako, sis! Pero mga 1 to 2 inches lang naman yung heels. But anyway, without further chica and without further ado, let us move on right into the haul. Just to make this haul more organized, I will try to do it na lang by shop na pinagkuhanan ko. And also, I will put the links in the description box just so they could be of help to you if you're also looking for sandals like these ones. So, the first shop is called Astrid. It's from Shopee. I got from them four pairs for only 1,400 because I'm going to shipping noon. So, this is the first pair that I got. It's just a classic sling back heels with a very thin strap in front. So, for this shop, pala, I really played safe. Na bumili talaga ako lahat ng pairs. My sling back. Ito yung sling back na detail niya. Because my toes have the tendency to slide out of the shoes. Kasi minsan. Um, hindi nag-fit sa akin yung dito sa harapan niya na strap, masyadong maluwang. So, to prevent that from happening, bumili ako ng mga may sling back talaga from the shop. Surprisingly naman, nag-fit sa akin. Very good yung fit sa akin itong thin strap sa harap. So, I really didn't expect much about this kasi parang at the back of my head, 1,400 yung price for 3 pairs. So, parang kung kaya nilang isell ng ganun kababa yung mga shoes, ganun ba talaga kababa yung quality? Parang ganun yung naisip ko. Pero, honestly, you get what you pay for. And these are really worth it. Although, I have yet to test yung wear and tear nila. Pero, if I'm looking at it, ang ganun ng quality niya for its price talaga. And also, meron din siyang foam here. So, talagang comfy siya para sa paa. Well, actually, lahat naman ng sandals na block heels for me ay comfy despite what other people think. They're really comfy and I can last in them all day. Parang for this pair, what you see is what you get naman na kasi it's very classic. It's black and you can wear it with anything. So, this is really worth it. The next pair that I got from the same shop is like a white version of the previous one. Pero may difference talaga sila. And this is the pair that I'm talking about. Um, actually, mas malapad itong strap niya in front than the black one. And meron din silang difference when it comes to the sling back enclosure. This one is hook lang siya. So I don't actually feel very secure about this. Pero actually kasalanan ko naman yung detail na yun kasi na-overlook ko siya. But just to make it more secure on me, actually nakalimutan kong sabihin to about the black pair. Pero nagdagdag ako ng extra holes in the sling back part. Also, the same with the black one. Nagdagdag ako siguro ng mga two extra holes each. Para lang mas secure sa akin yung sling back detail niya. Um, honestly, binili ko naman itong mga pairs na to thinking about that risk kasi madali lang naman actually alter yung detail na yun kasi dadagdagan mo lang ng butas. So, not actually a big deal for me. So, I really like this white pair kasi syempre, it's my favorite color. And same lang naman sila nung finish nung black one. This one is also, I think, synthetic leather. Parang leather finish naman lahat ng binili ko kasi mas madaling i-wipe yung mga dumi. Um, although for this white pair, nakikita talaga yung mga mistakes when it comes to the stitching, lalo na dito sa may sling back niya. Pero honestly, for its price, parang I can forgive that detail na. Pero if you're meticulous, siguro um, don't buy a white pair na lang. Same finish lang naman as the black one. Meron din siyang foam dito sa gitna. And super comfy and 2 inches lang din yung heels. So this one can also be used for an everyday look. So, the last pair that I got from the same shop is this nude pair. Uh, compared with the two previous ones, ito iba, medyo may ibang detail siya because it has a V-shaped strap here. Um, although yung finish niya, ganun pa rin, meron pa rin foam sa gitna and malambot pa rin siya until the toes. And compared with the two previous ones, um, ito talaga perfect fit na siya sa akin, hindi na ako nag-adjust. And also, parang ito yung pinaka-seamless yung gawa of all. I don't know if it's just because of the color or... 
hindi ko alam, pero ang linis ng pagkakagawa niya kahit light siya. So, para lang siyang upgraded version ng chinelas to be honest. Kasi mababa lang yung heels niya, parang 1 or 1.5 inches lang to. So, yes, I really like this pair and I like the color. Hindi siya nude for me because I am darker than this one, pero I like its contrast on my morena skin talaga. So, I really like this pair and so far, ito yung favorite ko doon sa tatlo from that shop. Generally, gusto ko naman yung shop na yun. Although, what I didn't like lang is that yung boxes na pinadala nila is dalawa lang. Kahit 3 pairs yung binili ko. Although forgivable naman yun kasi siguro lahat naman ng businesses ngayon nagko-cost cutting. So, let's just allow them to thrive muna for now. Siguro, so let's forgive mga details like that. Siguro next time na lang if you buy from them, just remind the seller na ipack nila in 3 individual boxes. Which I did doon sa next shop na pinagbilhan ko. For the next shop naman, puro slides na yung binili ko. So, I really took the risk na. And also, same lang sila from the previous shop na parang 3 pairs for 1,400. So, tinake ko na yung risk na bumili ng mga slides. So, this shop is called Olivia Manila. And this is the first pair that I got. It's in this terracotta color. And it comes with very unique strap details. And I really like it because it fits. Number one yun, it fits. And the same lang sila ng quality, honestly, with the previous shop. Na meron din siyang foam sa gitna. And it's still very soft until dun sa part where your toes will lie. And I love the color on my skin. But meron lang akong detail na napansin about this. It's in the heel. Kasi parang, tignan nyo, di ba naka-slant out pa siya? Unlike yung mga previous ones kanina na straight lang tong detail. Straight lang tong detail na to. So parang, hindi ko alam kung parang merong difference siya sa parang weight-bearing properties nitong sandals na to. Parang meron lang silang slight difference nung sinuot ko. Mas comfortable yung mga straight lang yung heels niya. Pero honestly, comfy pa rin naman siya. It's just that mas mabilis siguro mga ngala yung paa mo kapag ito yung suot mo. Other than that, I really like this pair. It's perfect for, I think, dressier occasions kasi medyo mas mataas yung heel niya. Siguro 2.5 two inch, inches na to. But yes, it still comes in a very basic color. That's why I really like it. And very unique din yung color niya. And I really like it on me. So the next pair that I got from the same shop comes in this mocha color. Although parang medyo similar lang siya from the previous one. Ang pinagkaiba lang nila are the strap details. And I think this one is sexier. The color of this one is darker than my skin tone. Pero I like the contrast. I appreciate the contrast. Um, ganun din yung finish niya, same as the previous ones that I've shown. Malambot din siya dito sa gitna. And meron siya extra foam dito sa gitna. And malambot siya until this uh, part. Same din yung heel detail niya as the previous one. The color is still neutral for me and I think it's still perfect for everyday look and for dressier occasions kasi mas mataas nga yung heels nito. These are mga 2.5 inches din as the previous one. So I really like this pair and the quality is really nice for its price and yes, I have yet to test the wear and tear of this one pero judging from the looks of it, parang matagal ko naman siyang magagamit. I can say naman na handcrafted beautifully pa rin naman yung pair na ito. So I really like this pair and parang naging redeeming factor ko talaga yung fact na merong slides na nagkasya sa akin. So very happy ako about this. And yes, worth it talaga. Okay, so the last pair that I got from the same shop is not very basic because it comes in this snake skin print. And ganun yung texture niya talaga, snake skin. So iba yung finish niya compared with the previous ones that I've shown. Pero ganun din, meron din siyang foam dito sa gitna. And malambot talaga siya up until here. So same lang as the material siguro na ginamit from the previous ones. Yung cover lang, yung snake skin lang niya yung difference talaga. So one inch lang yung heels niya. So it's perfect for everyday lazy looks. Kasi parang if you add this to one of your lazy looks, like for example all black or all white outfits, parang you will instantly look put together eh. Parang pinag-isip ng outfit mo when you actually didn't. And super confident ng fit nito sa akin. Eh, kasi nga mababa lang yung heel. So parang chinelas lang din siya for me. So I really don't regret buying this pair. Kasi hindi naman masyadong loud yung print niya if you will see it. And black and white pa rin naman yung color. So, they are still something that I could wear. So, yeah. Same quality lang din as the previous ones. For me talaga, sulit na yung first two shops na pinagbilhan ko. And also pala dito sa second shop, I forgot to tell na every pair comes with a dust bag. So, I think plus points talaga yun. Kasi, syempre, packaging says a lot about the brand also. So, yes. For me, sulit talaga sila. Although, wag na kayo mag-expect ng very premium na quality. Pero, buying from these brands is such a nice way to support local crafts. So, super na-appreciate ko talaga yung mga local artists natin. I think Maritina made sila and as well as yung next brand na ipapakita ko sa inyo.
The next pairs that I'm going to show you are from an Instagram shop called Hue Manila. And honestly, this is a bit pricier than the first two shops na pinagbilhan ko. Uh, nakuha ko to two pairs for 1,400. Honestly, hindi naman masyadong malayo eh. Pero for me, kahit bilhin ko siya on a regular price, sulit talaga to. So the first pair that I got are these one-inch heeled na sandals that has a two strap, uh, two thin strap details. Um, it's so perfect. It's a perfect fit for me and ang dali niyang ilakad. And also, sobrang lambot nito. I feel na ito talaga yung pinakaibang technology sa lahat ng sandals na ipapakita ko today. And nakaka-proud because this is locally handcrafted. I think Marikina made din siya. For me, sulit talaga to. And I feel like it makes any lazy outfit look chic. So, talagang score. And for those people who are intimidated with wearing heels, I think this is perfect kasi super baba lang nung heels niya. So yes, I would really recommend this brand to anyone and siguro naman the fame of this shop on Instagram shows din naman how much the quality and how much these are worth. The next pair that I got is very interesting to me kasi ganito siya. Um, alam niya yung bakya. So, bakya talaga to, pero it has a very modern silhouette. Bakya is something that sounds very traditional to me, pero this one has a very modern silhouette. So, ito matigas talaga siya, kasi bakyas are wooden sandals talaga. So, wood talaga siya. Kung naririnig niya yan, ayan. Wood talaga siya. And ang ganda ng silhouette niya, I feel like it's still very me. Kasi ang very thin yung straps. And ang warm ng color, I like warm colors on my skin. Actually, yung brand na nakalagay dito is Yumi Sandals. Pero nabili ko siya from the site of Yu Manila. And chinek ko yung Instagram nila. Parang siguro, ewan ko kung sister or parang iba lang talaga kasi yung branding niya. Kasi parang bakya yung mga, bakya talaga yung mga nandun sa shop na yun. Pero I guess parang sister companies lang naman sila. So siguro same din lang yung owners. To be honest, medyo mas nakakangalay lang to isuot because wooden nga siya. So, hindi siya katulad ng mga iba kanina na meron talagang foam. So, mas mabilis kang mga ngalay dito. Siguro it's not really meant for everyday use, pero you can use it for dressier occasions. And very sleek lang nung design niya. Ang pretty, ba? So, I guess modern bakya talaga to. And it's very unique to the brand kasi hindi ko siya nakita from the other brands na na-scan ko while buying. So, this was really a nice buy for me. So, now we are down to our last pair and I got it from the is at the flagship store of Charles and Keith. Um, this is not actually a local brand and this one is much more expensive than the previous ones that I've shown. But this is my favorite because it comes in my favorite color and it's also a design that I have not seen from the previous stores and from the other stores that I have scanned while I was shopping. I really like it because it's so easy to wear. It's just a slip-on slides. I also thought of the risk of my toes falling out of the shoe but since this has three straps, the other two straps at the back can still save me from falling. Charat! <laughs> But yeah, I think the quality of this one is really premium, so you also get what you pay for. It also has an extra foam on this part, and it's really soft up until this point. Comparing it to the first white pair that I got, I can really see a difference na the quality of this one is more premium. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you can see the obvious difference as straps. The straps of this one are a bit more flimsy, kasi di ba? Straps naman follow the shape of your foot. Pero this one already stands on its own, kahit wala pang paa, di ba? Nakikita niya naman. Well, this one, tignan niyo, di ba dapat ganito siya? Pag nakasuot. But it doesn't stand like that. But judging from the price point of this one, malayo eh. Ito, this, this pair I got for around 2,000 something ata. But this one, mga siguro 400 lang, di ba? So, judging from their price points, they are really sulit. So, I think you just have to judge according to your needs. But this brand talaga is really something that I already trust. I think this is a Singaporean brand, pero made in Malaysia siya. But this is a brand that I really trust kasi their shoes really last me long. I don't know, pero that's also dependent on how you use and how you take care of your things. Eh. Pero to me, kasi it lasts me for two years or more. So, I guess it's a really good investment piece. So yeah, I guess that's the end of this haul. Hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching and until my next one, I will see you guys once again.